Welcome to Hump Day Wednesday, September 10th, 2025. Your day weather podcast brought to you by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. If you've been injured in an accident, don't face it alone. Get an experienced local Wyoming attorney on your side. Free consultations at wyomingadvocates.com or call 307-800-1952. You deserve an advocate. You may be wondering what MOTS is. More of the same. That's how things are going to roll as this trough of low pressure just hangs around the western United States today through the weekend. Now, there'll be some movement of it, especially over the weekend, making its way a little bit further east. So, basically, it's kind of what we've had here over the last couple of days. Comfortably warm temperatures, scattered showers and thunderstorms here and there. Really, the trend is going to be for areas along and near the Continental Divide and west of the Divide, but over the weekend, there'll be an eastward shift of the moisture, and that will push the showers and thunderstorms further out. But comfortably warm September temperatures coming our way. We're still locked out from any really big cold intrusion out of Canada, at least for another week. We don't see that. Action O in the eastern Pacific, we'll talk about that, as that may have some ramifications later on. Beautiful photos of those clouds yesterday as some of that moisture from that trough did lead to scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially along some front range areas. And we saw that yesterday. This is a typical September shot here where you're getting drier air at the surface. So you're getting these showers and thunderstorms that look real mean, but they don't tend to produce maybe as much rain and they produce a lot of wind as the rain evaporates some of it from the falling clouds causing those gusty winds. And you'll see that this time of year a bit more often. Now, this is not a sunset, that's the moon. Very bright moon. Hard to take a picture of that bright moon if you're trying to use your phone, that's for sure. It ends up coming out looking like a sunset or a sunrise. And some bright sunny conditions. Another nice sunset on the high plains. If you're wondering how the month of September has gone so far temperature wise, and this graphic is really for more of the, the folks in the plains and the center part of the country. And you can see how cool September has started across the plains, into the Great Lakes, into the Northwest Corn Belt. Uh, if you look down here, these are significant. Keep in mind, this is the average high and the low, the, the measured high and low put together than compared to average. So that is quite the anomaly for the month of September so far. Now, this part of the country is going to really warm up here briefly with this omega block pattern. And you can see the heat has been relatively strong in British Columbia, parts of the Pacific Northwest, and along and west of the divide here for the month of September. If you're wondering how the year's gone to date since January 1 through yesterday, it looks like this. And this is really unremarkable. A little bit warmer up into Canada where it's been dry this summer in the desert southwest. But if you look at most of the lower 48, unremarkable year to date in terms of temperature, that's for sure. One thing that is notable is the coolness that they have seen along the west coast this year. Satellite photo this morning shows where we've got the troughiness here in the Pacific Northwest. Some thunderstorm activity out into the plains of Kansas late last evening and overnight. And the water vapor shows the swirl of clouds here right along the west coast of Oregon. And it's just spinning along here. Nothing pushing it along very quickly, just kind of meandering. And there it is where it's going to be noon mountain time today. When we take a look at where it's going to be by Sunday, so noon today, early Sunday morning, you can see there's an eastward shift of the trough. It kind of dumbbells its way through. So when this axis at of low pressure comes off the west coast and swings through, we're going to see an increase in shower and thunderstorm activity push out further to the north and east, especially as we get into Friday and Saturday. Those two days, shower and thunderstorm activity is going to be on the increase. And there you can see the omega block pattern well established for the weekend. Now I'm going to show you this down here. We talked about eastern Pacific action. Well, there is a 90% chance that this is going to turn into a tropical storm or hurricane and start tracking up this way. This is something that this time of year is something that we watch all the time because 
sometimes, we'll see this in August, September, and even into October, if the weather pattern is right, these hurricanes and tropical storms, while weakening as they go north, can sometimes supply moisture to the western United States. And the reason I bring this up is this system has a chance to maybe do that mid to late next week. Something to keep an eye on. Here's Kiko, tropical storm going just north of the Hawaiian Islands. So we'll keep an eye on this guy right here, especially for the southwestern United States. So if we step through the days ahead with looking at where the thunderstorms are going to be, we showed you earlier this week that this part of the region has some activity coming, really daily chances for good rain producing showers and thunderstorms here. That's something that you'll see here on the graphic. So this is where the thunderstorms are likely going to be most numerous today. This is where they're going to be tomorrow. As we go into Friday, you can see that the activity, especially in the central Rockies, picks up and we continue to see showers and thunderstorms down here near the eastern side of the Four Corners region. This is Saturday. So for college football, we'll need to keep an eye on this for showers and thunderstorms, very active in the area. Then as that trough swings a little bit more to the north and east, we will see a decrease in thunderstorm mm -hmm. coverage as we head into Sunday. So if you add up the precipitation opportunities, you can see we still have this area right here. It's gonna get some good rain in the days ahead. Heavier precipitation from these daily chances for thunderstorms for parts of west central and southwest Colorado and northwest New Mexico, then across the Pacific Northwest and across the rest of the Rockies. Nothing to write home about. It's just a, a, a consistent chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up here and there over the next four days. Then as we go into next week, this will be something that we'll have to keep an eye on you may have been noticing on the 500 millibar chart here how we've had this parade of lows in the very high latitudes staying up there. The main jet stream, the main polar jet staying way up there, locking the cold Canadian air up. But one thing that we're seeing a hint of is late next week of high pressure wanting to form just off the west coast, which would allow some of these lows in the higher northern latitudes further access, allowing them to drop further south. So late next week, the weekend after this one, the opportunity for some cooler unsettled weather might develop. Again, we put a big question mark on this high pressure ridge yesterday, and we're going to do that again today. But there's likely going to be something here building high pressure. Whether or not this allows a lot colder air to come out of Canada, into the last 10 days of September or not is something that we're not real sure of yet, other to tell you that the potential's there. And we certainly have the potential for another low and another moist situation to head into the western areas of Canada, into the northern and central Rockies late next week and the weekend after this one. So it's something that we're going to monitor for you. Have yourself a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.